Alright guys, uh, welcome to, uh, I think episode 9, I don't know, uh, I got time for one, this is the actual video, I was usually just gonna do one, but then I realized that the noise from next door from the construction wasn't as bad as it was previously, uh, that was like a fan drill, but it just happens as, as, as soon as I mentioned it, but hopefully it won't be much, so, it's one or two minutes of the 20 minute video, and bad, I guess it's not that bad, uh, so Yuri came to our house, and we're gonna go from there. So yeah, uh, the last episode was, was pretty cool though, you should check that out, uh, so yeah, whatever. Uh, but I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, uh, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my home. I suppose that's true, I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided, I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right, and did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, but pretty much. <laughs> At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I take Yari to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no, I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm, well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Oh, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatch Yuri's wrist as she's about to grab my uh, hentai collection, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Uh,. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking for some reason, I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap as, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you could help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, uh, that worry. <laughs> I'm gonna try to read this shit. Aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow, I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course, I wanted to help any of our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess, I'm determined to provide an experience that would leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Huh? Intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Not a bad thing. No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Uh, is that so? That makes me feel relieved and kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. I love how once I mention anxious being a word I don't read much, it's already, like, it's been, uh, said three more times. <laughs> In under 20 minutes, like, what the fuck? You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was gonna use them during the poetry event. Oh, yeah, like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows with black paper and use candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really insert word from the 1950s here. What's that wooden thing though? It's not me. On this. It's a diffuser for essential oils. I'm familiar with that. Aromatherapy. I like aromatherapy derp. Not familiar at all. Oh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contribu uh, computers to positive atmospheres, whatever. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of, of the air itself. You can even feel it uh, permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection, it's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to uh, spout through a small hole on top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? 
This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells like a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it, I guess. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them about your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that that will be perfect for sharing our problems? It does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles and gently clears, uh, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? What are those? You get it? It's a 2017 meme, kids. <laughs> get lit. <laughs> Dab. Every day, bro. Wow. Did he purchase their origami paper I asked you to get? Oh shit, oh, I hit the, this button. It, oh, okay. Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. I mean, we don't need to fold origami. What I like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah. Well, what will those be used for? Well, I'm gonna cut pieces of ribbon and hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we could fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would be it would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. Man tracked some of the beacons eyed. That's really creative, Yori. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yori. That's so, well, I, I suppose I do get a little so you put it. Uh, Yuri giggles with red cheeks that are barely red. Exposed. Is it just me or is she more relaxed while she when she's the, with the two of us or whatever? Just the two of us. When I mean, it meets the excitement that she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, right, Smuff? You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Alright. So you're on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I can carefully draw a different character on each paper. I do my best to manage my bad head rate. Yuri unravels a long shed of red ribbon for a desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. It's silver handles and a pattern of waves attached to it. Is she gonna stab me? The <laughs> blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's not an ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, well... Embarrasser looks away. What is it? You're gonna think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know. If you promise, you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright, the thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. Uh, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. Combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Uh huh. You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's well, like, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess, but I, I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? How the fuck? Does <laughs> a knife collection suit me, Rice <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of intense, like your personality. <laughs> so it's a really cool looking knife, I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like, would you like to hold my knife, sir? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife, with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious and determined, I'm gonna point at the knife with my index finger. Ow. Rise off. Why did he do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. I can cut through skin like it's paper. Or, I mean, it could, if not I. <laughs> oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives them a little closer look. Uh, she stares at it, no, no see fidgets. Like a fidget spinner, huh? 2017, wee! If you're scream- if, uh, you were squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Uh, without warning, Ari puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Oh my god, this is getting ill. 
a little too wedgy. <laughs> I feel her tongue curl around my finger, startled as I pull my hand back. Um, oh, please forgive me, I wasn't thinking. For the 50th time in this game, I, Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure, it was a little weird and it took me by surprise, but it was also kinky and I was totally into it at the same time. Uh, and also, I guess she was just trying to help, right? Dot, 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 question mark? Yori, I think you're overreacting a little bit. Uh, she hasn't left her head. What if she doesn't want to uh, recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? What if she doesn't recover, I guess? Uh, Alright, you know what? This might be the stupid thing to do, but I'll do it anyway. I take your hand and lick her index finger in return. Alright, Swamp, did you really just do that? Nah, now we're even. Dot dot dot. Yo, he just looks at me like I did something wrong. Ahaha, <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. After the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, right, Swamp? You're, you're weird. Yuri giggles shyly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're already calling me weird. What a plot twist right there. Dab on them haters, boy. I have no response to that. How do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch yours and I've cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, can you make progress on the paper? After you finish the paper, the ribbons, we lay them all side by side. It looks better than expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming uh, Good thinking coming up with this, Yori. Ah, uh, thanks. It's just something that's online, really. Are you, uh, are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tables. Oh, uh, that's right. One of the items you asked me to buy, uh, buy was a kit of watercolor paint tables. I probably didn't get it. I need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If it costs too much, it'll be diluted. Taking your advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full uh, size glasses. Put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yori, yes. I come in to see you quickly unrolled her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Oh, nothing. Her face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or something? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. <laughs> Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the ta uh, tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner, starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, and sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries out, I write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Aw, oh, neat. What are you doing? Going to write. Well, it will be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me, if you say so. After rolling out the matter, it ain't Neil. Uh, wait. Yuri and I kneel on uh, opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. I just want to say, guys, I'm sorry about this. brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like our class project we had back then. It's relaxing. Uh, I'm sorry, it feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself, For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things have fun. In fact, I don't even, more, even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. 
even if something simple like reading doesn't even matter if you don't talk too much. Because having a friend next to me makes me think of, oh, makes you things feel nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if you're an actor, not different, I can understand what where she's coming from. I feel that way with things like anime and games or simply sharing the experience with someone who can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. He already smiles gently. I know you don't understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time because I had to bump into hers. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly move my head. My hands in surprise. Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm not hurt. It just dropped me that song. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Oh, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, it's like a paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'm gonna tell right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dab in it with hot water, turn my room and kneel back down in front of her. That screenshot doll. Uh, here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Uh, is something wrong? It's hot, it's an expectant. Sorry. I just didn't want to use the cold water. I finish, I start to. Uh, yeah, check my hand. Oh, yeah. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Huh? Just for a little longer, and it feels really nice. Uh, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense question that I recognize from what she reads in her books. Almost as if she was lost uh, in a daze and about her own thoughts. She breathes gently, having uh, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine all giving uh, me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around her wrist, sending a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little uh, lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. Uh, it's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I mean, it's not forced to ignore the event that just inspired. Presidently retrieve my own brush and continue the following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finished filling the night sky with white dots that looks like stars looking uh, looking at the banner as a hold. Very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you gonna add the lettering now? Oh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here than have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. Haha. <laughs> Say that you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Oh no, it's not that. I'm just glad that you managed to get everything done. Oh, I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, uh, so we didn't, we didn't have anything, any time left? I was secretly hoping we should take time out to finish the work. Well, Yuri thinks for herself. I think it'd be two years for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, uh, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Yeah, gathering all the things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It's not like she really got the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it could happen. 
When Siri pick, uh, packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you so much for having me tonight. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Uh, just let me know if there's anything else you need to bring tomorrow. You need to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. You already fidgeted. <laughs> yeah, 2017. <laughs> yes, I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today, it's fine that we didn't have as much time as we, as we wanted because we can do this again. Whatever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Oh, I forgot you don't like going out much. Simple over my words, you're simply smile specially. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're wearing a downfall rice swath. Yuri takes a step close to me and then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Oh shit, it's gonna go down. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. <laughs> that animation was fucking perfect. You're just fucking flipping like whoop. Sorry. Huh? Oh, hi, Rice Wolf. Sorry. Just now, we weren't. Hee hee hee. It's okay, Rice Wolf. I gotta stop by to say hi. Um. Well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry, but we'll be able to together at the festival tomorrow, so, uh, so that's fine, right? <laughs> of course! Sorry, Beams. Yeah, so, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> ah, clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off, Sarah leaves goodbye after me, being a total, uh, block, you know. Sorry, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Oh, uh -huh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me, so I had to come here and see for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you're having with Yuri, and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears <laughs> Dear start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, my swath? I'm gonna be happy for you. I always feel like my heart is feeling in half. It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sorry, don't say that. It's true, my swath. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You should have to put up with me being so selfish and shit. Monica was right. I should just. Monica? Monica was right about what? Dot dot dot. Sorry. I said about it before it's true. I'm not gonna let this continue. Hearing about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be your uh, side, uh, by your side until you don't feel any more pain. What? Sari looks away, up on the hand under her shoulder here. I'm scared, Ryswap. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that that I imagine like you that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I didn't I, I didn't think this to myself. Reswalk. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel and then That's enough, sir. I don't like her anymore. I slide my hand down her arm and squeeze her breast. I mean her hand. In my own. Do you remember how I said I always knew what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sarah nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know that you need the most right now, and that's what I'm gonna go. And that's what I'm gonna give you. Oh my God! Oh my God! Okay, so we got the two fucking choices. Uh, this is where I'm gonna make two save states and shit like that, and we'll see what I pick for the series. And also, um, I'm gonna announce this now, just because fucking why not. Uh, I, th I mean, I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna do this, but I think I'm gonna do a second series of this game where I pick alternate choices. But I'm not gonna do everything, I'm just gonna pick some things and just see how it works. And it will be a little maybe skimmed, I don't fucking know. It'll probably be like maybe six episodes long, it'll be fun. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.